Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. I have sex on the brain. Do you? Well, having said that, this cocktail, aka Sex on the Brain, is actually a riff on the Sex on the Beach cocktail. It has many of the same similarities and ingredients, but it yet, it is different and it has different nuances of flavor. This is gonna be great, so let's get into it. All right, now this is a simple six ingredient cocktail that we are going to shake. So grab your shaking glass, because you know why? Why not? And we're going to start this with some vodka. I'm going to use a local product. It's Top Shelf Vodka out of Perth, Ontario. And we're going to use a total of one ounce or 30 milliliters. Now, after you've done that, what we're going to use is a little bit of peach schnapps. I'm using Dr. McGillicuddy's here. This will bring out some of that sweetness that you get in a North American schnapps because they are very sugar laden. We're going to use the same amount though for one ounce or 30 milliliters. And this is where we actually differ from a Sex on the Beach cocktail, because we're actually going to add a melon liqueur, and I'm using a little bit of McGinnis melon liqueur here, but we're going to use the same amount, one ounce or 30 mils. Now this smells really good. It's just got those melon and those peach flavors, and you just know it's working together. However, what we are going to start with is a little bit of pure pressed pineapple juice. Use whatever pineapple juice you want, but this has no sugar added, and it also has no pulp. And we're gonna use two ounces or 60 milliliters. And next, what we wanna do for more of our tropical flavors is add some orange juice. I'm using a pulp-free orange juice, no extra sugar added. Use whatever you like, because you know what? It's your cocktail. We're gonna use another two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now our next step is to add a little bit of ice and shake this. However, this is called sex on the brain, so you want to shake it suggestively. But do it with a smile. So make sure your glass is full, grab your tin, slap it down, and make sure she's got a good seal, give it a flip, and shake it. Yeah, pop that off with the thought of some really good sex. Put these off to the side and grab yourself your fresh glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a pint glass and I'm going to fill it up with ice. If you want, you could free your dump if you want and not worry about it, but your, most of your ice is diluted. So add a little bit more and grab your Hawthorne filter or strainer. And what we'll do is we'll just pour it in like so. Ho oh, ho, look at that, absolutely fantastic. Now, we're going to add the pièce résistante. I have some homemade grenadine here. It's gonna be perfect. We're going to add half an ounce or 15 milliliters and we're going to pour it gently over the top like so. That looks Fantastic. Now, if you want the recipe and the method of how to make this, I will put that down in the description down below for you. But what we are going to do now to finish this off is we're going to add a cherry. And if you'd like to know how to make your own cocktail cherries, what I'll do is I will put a poll up in the community space. Please give me a respond and let me know if you're interested in me making one of those for you. Absolutely fantastic, you can't go wrong. Uh, good cherries, great looking drink. Oh, grab yourself a straw and let's give this a try. Immediately, you just smell a little bit of pineapple, a bit of orange, and a bit of the cherry. Everything else is very, very muted. Oh, so good. It's hard to believe how easily every single one of those ingredients work together. From the grenadine, to the vodka, the peach schnapps, the melon juice, not melon liqueur, pineapple juice and the orange juice, they all blend together. So it is a sweeter cocktail. So if you're looking at a scale of one to 10, you're gonna be at a seven for sweetness in this cocktail, but it is well worth it, I guarantee it. I will put the ingredients in the method of how to make this and the grenadine down in the description down below for you. If this is the first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification that way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. 
you have a fantastic day.